Hi, uh, this is James here and online with Mark Dillon uh, from Yolo Users. So we are going to ask a little bit of questions from Mark Dillon for you all. Um, so first of all, talk us through the tablets, the new product, everything. Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, yeah, we spent the last year working on the on the phone and we got a lot of feedback on the UI and we were yes. able, I think we really got it right. Um, we were able to take all of that feedback and with Selfish 2.0, where I think that the we were able to simplify it. We were able to reward users that come from other ecosystems so that they understand the thing as soon as they touch it. And I think that it's really, really good for users. I think it's going to be great for business with the partner space. Yes. And uh, we've had a really good conference. The, the new events view for the tablet is really fantastic. Absolutely. And uh, the navigation is a lot simpler now, but it's every bit as powerful. Yes. So before I start my questions, I've already seen on TJC that people are asking to remove that uh, app tray from there. Uh, I don't particularly agree with that, but what would you say? Because people are, people seem to, I mean some of them, seem to want the uh, events view from the, top, the, the bottom bezel. I think it would be, it, this is easier and more intuitive, but uh, what would you say about that request on uh, what was your reaction to that? I'd like them to try it before they judge it. It's, it's. I've been been using it all week here. You know, we, we just created this this software. We went through a bunch of uh, user trials with it, and it does it does two things. You don't have to move your thumbs very far beyond the edges of the tablet to get everything. Yes. And the new events view is really fantastic. It's right there. It's easy. So looks better. I, I really like it. So. Awesome. And We've uh, got a lot of good feedback here at the show from this. Well. Yes, yes, I've seen and that too. This is the, one of the greatest things here is that people are walking up and they're getting the tablet immediately. Immediately, yes. It's like they're not having to really get trained about how to use it. And that's one of the things. It's like we want to have our own UI concept. We want to base it on gestures. Totally. But we also understand that we're still a minority here and we want to be a majority. So when people walk up, like when I, when I walk around the conference, I see people doing this on their Android devices. Yeah, yeah. They're not even necessarily doing anything. They're just like hunting ah, and hunting yeah, and yeah. hunting. Mm -hmm. It has become much easier and faster. It's yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's been, it's been really, really easy. And you know, that's the thing. It's like you don't have to hunt for anything here anymore. That's so. true. Yeah. Uh, about the Indiegogo campaign, uh, you were targeting $380,000 only, and you're up to 2.3 now, or 2.2 million. Uh, what was your reaction when you just... I mean, you were, you were inside Slush when you got funded, fully yeah. funded. Yeah. How, how amazing was that? Tell us about the whole uh, experience. It was really fantastic. We, we honestly really didn't know if pe there was going to be a market for this. Okay. And Indiegogo to us was, was two different things. It was, you know, should we really do this? Do we have the right stuff? Do we have the right product? Do people want a tablet that's not just the 408th Android tablet in the world? Yeah. Um, and the other thing was to get people involved in the process. You know, we. A lot of you have been on together.yola.com and we really, really appreciate it and, and we think that it's great and you proved the concept. So now getting people involved in this process to actually help shape the tablet, it's been amazing. And we've had people from companies all over the world yes. that have come here and said, you know, we backed your tablet because we believe in it. All right. Well, yeah, fair enough. Um, another question is, why did you go for the tablet form factor instead of continuing your phone uh, history, which you, you obviously started with? Um, there was a combination of things here. Uh, the first one is to prove we can do it, to yeah. prove that Sailfish really scales and it will run on multiple form factors and so that we can show that to industry um, because we, we really need to have partners in order to be successful. It's not just about the devices, it's about getting Sailfish on other companies' devices and providing a place for e-commerce and for content providers and operators and even OEMs to be able to differentiate and, and make their content really premium. So that was one thing. Um, another thing is you have to move your whole life to a smartphone. It's like it's the most personal device in your life. Yes. So making the tablet is something that it's a lot easier for people to come into our ecosystem to understand that Selfish and Yola is a viable alternative. And a lot of people use it to play or they use it to, to play games or consume content or things like that. So yes. it, it was a really good fit for us to, to be able to reach a new kind of consumer. And the more consumers that we have believing in us, and the more that we can actually deliver success. back. Yes. So the success is about changing the mobile industry. It's about providing something that's, that's new and you know, going head to head against you know, the big gorilla of Google. Yeah. So you know, if, if we want to be successful, if we want to have you know, something to be a fan of and something to, to continue to work together on, then you know, it's one of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So why don't you ask one question? 
Um, you always mentioned that Yola wants to be a software producer, not a hardware producer. Um, what will be the future there? How will it go on? How will you bring Selfish OS to all the systems? And what is like the importance now of Selfish uh, OS 2? So we continue to make the devices um, primarily because we have to show what we can do. And in this case, you know, we got this beautiful device. It looks like a Yola device. Yeah, it does. And it's got the, the highest spec that you can you can pretty much get. So when the Yola phone came out, we understood we had to make some compromises because we had to get a product to the market. We had to get this whole process started. Um, but getting it onto other device manufacturers' devices, getting other kinds of partners to make devices together is really how we're going to get Selfish all over the world. So um, we made a fantastic device here. We're really proud of it. We're, we're very glad that people are backing it. But now the next step is what's been happening behind the wall of the booth with all of the kind of partners from all over the world who are coming up and saying that they want to, they want to do something with us. I can't wait to tell you what happens next. Oh <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, well, with the tablets, you're entering the U.S. market, Canada, Australia. You're yeah. going everywhere, basically. Is that a hint that the next phone will probably go there, so go to other markets as well? I mean, expanding. I sure hope so. Um, but understanding that the the market to the east for us and Europe, um, it's it's a lot different because if you have Google Play is really, really, really strong in the West. So we, yes. we have Yandexes and Rakutens and, and Snapdeal and all these kind of partners in the East that, that are really looking for a solution like us. So actually breaking the app ecosystem game open, it's a lot easier in the East. But yes, of course, we're looking to the, looking to the West, West as well. Market. Yeah. And it was great to do that with the tablet because it's, it's something that it's a lot easier to, to get into the U.S. It's like you have a couple of carriers in the U.S. that can be quite challenging to deal with. I have a long experience there. I used to work for a carrier in the U.S. So, you know, creating the tablet was something that was a lot easier for us to be able to reach those consumers. Now that they understand what Selfish is, what Yola is, what we're trying to do together, you know, it gives us a foot in the door so that we can, you know, continue in those markets also. And how has the response been from the West? From the West side? Well, I can tell you the response here at the conference from all over the world has been fantastic. It's like. And, and we weren't sure when we got here, uh, what did we really have? And we actually, we were a little bit concerned, you know, should, should the tablet be handed to somebody else or do we need to hold it and, and show it to others? And we really proved that this UI concept is something that you can hand to someone else, you can tell them a couple yeah, of things absolutely. and they get it. Yes, yes, yes. And then on your speeches you often mentioned the Sailfish Alliance. Yes. Could you shortly explain what it is, like what partners are or could be involved there? Exactly. So who is it attractive? Sure. So the idea is that to compete with one company like Google, we wouldn't want to have one big partner who would then dominate the whole thing. So creating partnerships with uh, integrators, with content providers, with OEMs, with ODMs, with operators, uh, that's, that's the way that we can be successful here. So we make a balance of power in the Sailfish Alliance. So we have Tieto uh, to help us to do integration and to, to provide an integration solution to those kind of companies. Uh, we announced this week Snap Deal. Uh, that's fantastic. So what we what we did last summer is we opened them as a channel partner. Yeah. So it's a place where you could go to buy Yola devices. But now they're also interested in being able to put their uh, content, their e-commerce solution on the device. And we have a place for that right next to the home screen. So one thing that people don't understand is that am I going to get forced into having something hung from the side of my home screen that maybe I don't want? It goes the other direction. Like as a content consumer, if I want to have like Spotify and Netflix and the device and a low price and it's a bundle, so I should get a discount. That's something that as a consumer I could go and opt in. Now, if if we don't want those kind of things, then what we can do is we can buy the the regular tablet and maybe even use this this. Uh, partner space for your favorite application so that every time you go off of the home screen you've got your favorite app there. Exactly. So it is customizable, user customizable is it? That's, that's the idea, is, okay. to, is to make it customizable. All right. Well, uh, I've seen that uh, Intel has been really interested in Yola, you have been really interested in yeah. Intel, I mean contracts are going on, your tablet is at their booth. Yeah. And, uh, right next to the Nokia tablet yes. too. Yeah. We've got a lot of feedback on that this week. <laughs> I posted a picture myself. So. Uh, but. Uh, I would like to. I would like to know. Is there like any plan going on for uh, using their processors and their modems and uh, in in the future for Yola products? Actually, Yola yes. 2? 
Yeah, so as a, as a partner, Intel is very excited to also take the next processor that's coming out and to help us make devices with that as well. Okay, that is great. So it's a long-term partnership, and it's a beautiful kind of uh, full circle now because what's happened is when we worked with them so deeply in the Migo, uh -huh. in the Migo times, and then when, when we were shopping around how we're going to do the Yola phone, we talked to them, and, and now we've basically been able to close the circle. Yeah. yeah. That is true, yes. Uh, I think I like that. Um, a really important thing on Monday was also the announcement, the partnership with SSH, the Cure Connection, yeah, yeah. which of course is huge, everyone knows it. Yeah. It's, it's probably even the simplest computer user knows actually what it is, or at least works with it. Yeah. Um, what does it mean for Yola? What does it mean for the users? And also for potential customers, like for example, let's say people who want a partnership with certain financial systems which yep. are dependent yeah. on their secure systems, what does it all mean? Um, one interesting thing is we've actually educated people that SSH is company from Finland, mm -hmm. so both parts. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people are familiar with the SSH protocol, but they don't understand there's actually a company behind it who also has an enterprise or business solution um, as well. So there's open SSH and then there's SSH that is actually used uh, in business and government and things like that. So first off, everybody that has a Yola device from Selfish will get benefit from this. So the, we're going to harden the operating system from the silicon all the way up, uh, and then provide some secure communication client so that you can go peer to peer. You can have trust in your private data, and you can also have trust in your private communication. So then for business, uh, we really want to be able to help with, with enterprise solutions and things like this as well. We're told here by the analysts and by the feedback that we're getting at the conference that there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, since Nokia stopped making communicators and since you know iPhone came to prominence, um, there's not really an enterprise device anymore. So SSH is a 20-year-old company from Finland, uh, secures all of these banking and governmental and, and lots of other kind of communications, plus most of the communication on the internet. So we'll be able to do both. So consumers, everybody that has a device, over time we're going to continue to deliver more and more updates that are going to increase the privacy and security. And then we can also offer this as a solution to our partners. Okay. Um, this is going to be a little bit tough, this one. <laughs> All right. The, um, the ecosystem uh -huh. has been a challenge, obviously, since uh, you know there are big players, over, big, bigger players over there. And uh, some, uh, some of the community members have been talking to me uh, lately and uh, telling me that, okay, if you are interviewing Mark, ask him about this, All right. that we want to develop apps for YOLO and put it on YOLO store. Uh -huh. But there are so many restrictions re regarding the security. Because, you know, Selfish is all about security, right? Mm -hmm. But there are so many restrictions regarding that security. Security and openness. And open, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that, for example, uh, as an example, they told me that if you want to use the people's app as your, uh, and integrate it to your app, you cannot do that because it might leak some data and uh, uh, we, we, we might not be able, able to put it on the YOLO store. So uh, is that, and also paid app, and uh, which was also discussed last year. So how, how is that uh, going to be handled? Yeah, I think, I think we have a lot of work to do here still. Um, you know, we're still a tiny little company, and there's a lot more of you than there are of us. And actually, we need help. And this, the, the, the SDK, the harbor, and these kind of things are actually places where we could use some help. So it's not just about feedback. It's about, you know, we have one or two people on the other side who are responsible for helping all of you. So I think there's a lot of improvements that we can make in this area. And certainly taking this kind of feedback is, is really important. Um, so I think also the, the way that we document and deal with the SDK are some things that, that we need to improve, and we have some plans in order to get there. But you know, please keep the feedback coming, and uh, and you know, do understand we are doing everything that we can, and we also understand that we we need to do a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a question. For example, um, it's known that there's a lot of closed software around, for example, WhatsApp, uh -huh. which of course will for everyone like you be difficult to implement or it's impossible. And an alternative now is, uh, for example, Telegram. Uh -huh. So we heard already from a lot of companies how they contacted them to implement on the system. Now Telegram benefits of it, their system benefits of it. Are you having corporations? Are you going straight to companies like that uh, who produce the software? Is there something going on like that? So yeah. We've talked to a lot of companies people. like that. And you know, this is actually one of the keys. It's like the more users that we can hit, the, 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 the better that we can support them as a community, yeah. then the better chances that we have with these companies. We're talking to them already and they're, they're excited. And I think 
if, if 2015 is the year that Sailfish really starts to hit, then it's going to be a lot easier. But, uh, but yes, we've talked to a lot of these kind of companies, and we're really excited about that. That's very good to know. Um, about the... Yeah, okay, go ahead on that side of the question. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, so another thing, big topic is a bit the... Since we still with like messaging and instant messaging, uh -huh. the integrated um, telepathy future. Uh -huh. um, how important has it a high priority in Yola? Because requests are, for example, for um, integrating um, voice over internet services as via SFD. What is there going on? Is there being made progress? Is it easy for developers to actually integrate their service straight into Salesforce? Yes. This is, this is one of the areas where keep the feedback coming. So the, you know, with, with the amount of people that we have, it's difficult to be able to serve all of them. But the more people that talk about it, then the better chances that we have to get those kind of things into the right. um, There has been reports that there's a promise, well, uh, quote unquote promise, of the next YOLA phone to be arrived in 2015, or at least announced in 2015. Is that still going on, or is it being prototyping? What's going on for the next YOLA phone? Um, Unfortunately, I don't have any announcements to make in this area today. Uh, you know, we've always talked that we have a roadmap, and you know, I, I wish we could just open the, the device roadmap and say, if we did that, though, there wouldn't be devices anymore because um, it just doesn't at the moment work like that. But we do have a device roadmap. We do have other devices, and unfortunately, we don't have any announcements to make today. But, All right, but it is in, on the roadmap, definitely. There, we do have additional devices on the roadmap. And one of the keys here is like to, to continue to show what we're capable to do. Get the tablet out. It's, it, it looks great so far. It looks, it looks like a, something that a lot of people are really, really going to love. And that helps to enable the kind of partnerships that also help us to make additional devices. Yeah. Uh, one of the community members have asked, is, uh, when is Yola coming to the Middle East? Uh, before you ask that, in this very booth, even last year and this year, I have seen a lot of people asking for Middle East specifically. Yeah, so can you please? You know, it's, it, it, it comes back to that thing that you know, we've only been able to, we only have so many people, we've only been able to open so many markets. But I think this is one that has a good potential to get into additional markets, including the Middle East. Yes, place. definitely. So it means that you are working on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have a couple of salespeople and uh, you know, other companies have five, ten salespeople per channel. Per channel, yes. Yeah. Potentially, so but, uh, that's something we're really excited to get into. Mm -hmm. um, you all as a company, you are now being backed by investors, uh -huh. you know? but um, as right now a hardware um, developer and future wise as a software developer, how will you generate your revenue? How does a company like Yola make benefits or profits? So one interesting thing that we're working on with this partner space idea is putting together bundles. So with, with like Snapdeal being a good example, um, we could potentially give away things. Snapdeal could potentially give away devices or a company like that. Um, so the idea being that if a company wants to engage with their customers, if they want to reach new customers, they can buy Sailfish devices. We create them with a partner. They put their services there. And then they have a new way to engage with those customers, and then our business model would then um, have some kind of revenue share from exactly, that. Exactly. So that's one of the ideas that um, if if there is a market for this kind of thing, we can get into a lot of people's hands and help to enable those kinds of business. And then, of course, there's always going to be you know, premium devices or devices that that are more configurable, so that you don't have this kind of thing. Um, one of the community members from India is asking that uh, it, it looks like over there that you're fading away from the market. But recently you have announced the Snapdeal uh, yeah. uh, partnership. So is that going to bump up the sale of Yola in India, do you think? Um, they are a great channel partner. And, yeah. you know, we know what the, the original Yola phone, we know a lot about that. And we know that this is a really high spec, really high end device. So, They're going to sell this too? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, so, so I believe we'll be selling this as well. All right. Um, and uh, just a few questions left. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Um, about the Selfish Secure, uh -huh. uh, it's actually a two-part question, so I think I'll, I'll ask the part one and he'll ask the part two. Okay. Uh, the community... Yes. <laughs> the community is eager to know that if uh, 
like end users, like normal people, are able to get the Selfie Secure on their Selfie Shoot OS 2.0? Yes, um, it will roll out as part of our monthly software update. So people that have the tablet, people that have the phone will also be able to get a benefit. From so it's not only for enterprises? No, it's not only for enterprises. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And the rest of it was? It's already all answered actually. Oh yeah, all right. All answered, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time and hope also, to see you soon. Also, question, like, you mentioned again, how like what does the community mean to you? What yeah, like last you know? year. We had if this it, last it year. It means everything. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. We're doing everything that we can for you. Stefano is here also. Yes, you can say the same probably. <laughs> we just got an award for the best tablet of MWC. Oh my god! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> right here, Perfect. ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. One, two, three, YOLA! Wow. All right. Thank you very much. We couldn't do it without you, and, and we're doing everything we can to deliver for you. Keep the feedback coming. You know, don't be afraid. Say what you want. Say what you don't want. And, and we're going to do everything we can to give it to you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone. And here's Thank Carol you for you saying hi. And you, uh, somebody just uh, got passed by. Oh, that's so, so, yeah. Okay. Bring it here. Paulina, bring it here. <laughs> Look at that! Wow, first time being shown. <laughs> first time live here at MWC 2015. Yes. All right. Thank you. James, Thank you get this right. video out. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, don't. Bye. Bye.